Now for me, Christmas doesn't really start until all of the uh, Christmas adverts start here in the UK. And one that is iconic as I spin round, not to make you too dizzy, is, where's the sign? John Lewis. So yes, I'm on Oxford Street and I'm gonna show you everything in store. <laughs> dreary Sunday morning not gonna lie people are just waiting to go into store and yes we do have the Christmas lights they're not quite on and in the evening hopefully we will see the beautiful lights where well, you would have seen the lights actually probably in the previous video a bit hard to show you the lights during the day but I'm gonna show you some of the windows and with a glorious glare I do apologize but I'll just quickly whiz past the windows and it looks like they have got this bear as a 2022 it's very Harrods and Hamleys isn't it and me in the reflection hello hello Merry Christmas and their tagline seems to be styling of comfort and joy for all of life's moments and you can see a few outfits there now i'm not usually a massive fan of john lewis's windows they're okay um but yeah it looks like the bear is their icon for the season and a few cute handbags including that gorgeous coach one i would have shown you some of that in my previous video where was i harvey nichols however i'm trying to be smart and i'm actually gonna quickly whiz around the christmas store so this for me is one of my absolute favorites they have in my opinion some of the best decorations and they beautiful beautiful uh, setup and like VMs and Christmas trees um, and yeah and they have browsing 11.30 till 12. But I just went past Selfridges and it was nearly an hour before opening and everyone was looking confused so yeah he's cute isn't he? Not that Christmasy. I feel like he should have a little little something on him a little sparkly nose or something and as the stampede comes in <laughs> no one's got anywhere else to go on a sunday morning um let's have a look at the decorations now i did pop in here the other day and i wasn't sure whether the bird the bird the bear theme was it but it looks like it is all oh, that does make my legs go a bit funny all the way up here in Oxford Street, but I do like the sparkly lights. I do like that they have popped the little bears around like the top of that cabinet there or whatever you call it, the little velour ones. But yeah, it's quite a sweet theme. I, I do think that they would could have like added a little bit of sparkle on the bear. It's just personal preference. Now here's a question for you. Which store do you like the most? I feel like everyone's gonna say Harrods, but I don't know, I really like Selfridges. Um, for the Mason, let me know. Well, that is a cute little photo of, isn't it? I like that. And I really, really like that. Oh, they've got his head, the teddy bear's head hanging. Oh, I'm not sure if I about that, um, but I really like the color scheme. It's very John Lewis, isn't it? But we're gonna pan round to the Christmas store. But actually, let's just call out. Look at these setups that they have. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely beautiful. It has spilled. Oh, that's very Quality Street, isn't it? Oh, I can see Quality Street out the corner of my eye. Um, but yes, I really like it, um, the way they display things. And they have all these different themes, which we are just about to uh, show you. But yes, we have got the full Christmas store. It would not be a Vlogmas. Is this Vlogmas Christmas at John Lewis without me showing you the absolutely fantastic um, Quality Street concept that they have here? I'm not sure if it's exclusive, but they've had it the last few years. Basically, the Nestle Quality Street um, you can grab. And as it says, it's pretty self-explanatory. Choose your favorites. Um, I'm not sure, let me check how many you have to have. I don't know if you can do a whole thing of the purple one, which is what everybody wants. I always get asked that is whole ha hazelnut and luscious caramel in a milk chocolate shell but yes that looks super yum and they have this whole pop-up station which is just about to open definitely getting in before the crowds today um, and they always have an exclusive one they have honeycomb crunch which sounds very very nice and you get this little card this isn't an ad by the way I just think it's brilliant um, yeah and you just pick what you want and you can personalize um, what you want so minimum of three sweets okay so you can't have a whole thing uh, filled with the purple one that's pretty good though and the tin is looking really nice they do change it every single year and you can get the lid to be personalized yes they weigh it but uh, they also have these crackers as well um, I'm telling you these card crackers are definitely like a thing again very 90s I love it and prices prices so you can refill it for 10 pounds I'm actually gonna have to watch last year's vlogmas to remember what they were but yes you can refill sorry so yeah the refillable one is 10 pounds and that is the previous year's uh, designs so the crackers are five uh, special tin is 14 and if you want a personalized tin maybe with your name or surname or something on the lid it's 17 quid so i think that's pretty good and then the refill is 10 pounds and they have all of the giant quality streets on the ceiling i love that this could be the good old days let's go into the proper christmas store i will try and show you all my favorite and wonderful things that i think um yeah you'd like to see um let's skip to the actual zones so each year as i said um they have these themes which i think is a really 
really great thing uh, to do, whether you're into you know interiors or not. It's just a really great way to be inspired. Winter Fair, that is absolutely gorgeous. Are you joking? I do think, how much would it actually cost to have that many decorations on your tree? Quite a lot. Community Garden, I love that orange. That burnt orange is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the little owl as well, I love an owl. Oh, look at these, are these pheasants? That's really cute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> little greenhouse um, but as I go across this is very much I must admit the tree that I have sugar plum cafe they do kind of tweak it each year themes don't go on that much interior trends don't change significantly each year but that is absolutely gorgeous look at the cat oh my days I mean that would literally take up an entire loft wouldn't it um, oh my gosh also I might look for some Uggs I might record it I might not but I really want to get some some mini Uggs I really like seeing like how they put it together although I'm never gonna be able to like buy all of it nor do I care to buy everything um, I don't know it's just really nice to see which one you, you would like to do and also which one you don't want to do um, I don't know I have a feeling I usually do votes on Instagram I feel like that one would be the least favorite although John Lewis you know I love you Jolly General Store oh that's very kind of classic Chris Christmas. kind of hoping for a bit of a deeper green in that look at that one a bauble oh my god little fluffy bits on it i have to keep an eye out they also vm um, shopping wise in zone so it makes it really really easy to shop and i do like the simplicity of that oh, it hasn't got a name yet maybe they haven't printed it off yet i really like that are you inspired yet guys do you feel christmasy um yes yeah, so <laughs> I definitely have timed this right. I'm going to blitz it quite quickly because it's going to get busy. Um, but as you can see, so Winterfair, like I said, they have the tree again with all of the knickknacks. Oh my gosh, love. And I would say from experience over the years, if you see a decoration here, buy it. And I know that's kind of a silly thing to say, but a few times I have been back and the, the decorations have changed quite significantly. So apologies if I'm showing you something. Oh, look at this candy floss. This is eight pounds. <gasps> look at that. Oh, let's see what else they have. And then you can get the standard like massive packs of baubles, which also sell out very, very quickly. Um, and you can obviously buy the fake tree. I have one already from, can't remember where I got it from. Um, but I absolutely love that. I must confess, I actually regret buying a fake tree. Um, it's quite hard to buy a real tree in London, but I don't know, mine's massive. It's probably a bit too big for my flat. I love it, but yeah, I think a real tree is better. What's your choice? There's always a bit of a strong vote on that one. I was trying to see if they had this one knocking around. Um, it's really cute and that is, oh gosh, 30 pounds. It's really sweet though, look at that. Ah, there's just so much. I love this snowman, by the way. I think the snowman advert is probably one of my favorite John Lewis Christmas adverts. Oh my gosh, they have so much stuff. Oh, and the polar bears as well. It's an early December morning. No one but we are. We look out the window as it's starting. And I realize as you had me go. Maybe it's a good thing it's not trading hours yet. At 12 o'clock, you might hear it. Oh my gosh, a jammy dodger. Are you joking? Um, yeah, so my tree is quite pink. I did go full on for you, like proper girly. I know that's a bit cliche. Um, oh my gosh, these are massive. That's 12 pounds. I really like that kind of French proper proper girly cheesy oh my gosh and the little doggy as well i do love a felt um animal that is eight pounds but yes you're gonna see i, I don't like that one you all got mail i think that's awful but the tree looks absolutely stunning i really do like these baubles that they've put on um yeah and the, <laughs> the the heads of the bears as well it is actually quite a bright red yeah these um like toadstools is that what you call them? oh that was a lot lighter than i thought it was going to be that's only a five but that's quite good i feel like this has come come back quite strong these are a little bit bright on the red but that's me just being incredibly fussy as usual um oh these are i feel like we used to have these in the 90s right i do like those for a tenner massive baubles how big are people's trees uh look no plastic shrink wrap okay we're getting there maybe oh the wreaths and garlands are always really really strong in john lewis um this i really really like this orange it's absolutely stunning and that massive uh garland is 25 pounds the wreaths are what are they about 35 to i think 55 ish pounds is probably a fair a fair one but yes this red berry going back to traditional um is absolutely 
wonderful and then you've got some more glittery bits oh i think they still yeah this is the wreath that i have which is 40 pounds i think that might be what i paid for it's slightly different but i think that's pretty much what i have at home and then the jolly general store again beautiful beautiful example gosh their vm team must spend hours setting all of this up but they have got a lot of these types of things i don't know what you would call that as a as a trend um but yes less of like the tiny little um little decorations and a lot of felt things as well felt i mean that kind of looks like a pork pie to be honest with you but i guess it's meant to be a mince pie a lot of food ones which is interesting i'm gonna keep an eye out um where else has got lots of food you do need a very big tree for some of these decorations they're massive oh stop <laughs> wait how much is him how much is he seven pound fifty Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm such a child. Um, I mean, sardines, there's a lot of food things in here actually. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but everyone to their own. And this gorgeous one I showed you is nine pounds. So yeah, it's gonna be very delicate. And maybe if you have a cat or children, you probably <laughs> can't buy some of this. Community garden, which feels very, very new for this year. Um, Oh look, I feel like a lot of people will really, really love this one with the kind of nature injection. Oh look at that, a little felt welly. What have we got? Oh, do you know what, John Lewis? They've done a bloody good job here. Now I don't know, if, I don't. I think I guess they buy in all of these. Look at that with the little roof. That's seven pounds. I'm not really sure on that pricing architecture, if I'm honest with you. Oh, so cute. Loads and loads of cool things if you're into gardening little i was gonna say robin that's cute i really like that they have a little bit of purple in this as well i think that adds a lot i'm not an interior designer but just a personal preference and you know oh my gosh i don't need any more hedgehogs i've got quite a few actually thinking about it and um yeah lots of things for the gardener in your life i never know what to do with this type of thing i think my home really generally isn't big enough um it's a little bit bright i'm gonna criticize that a little bit um but look at this that's so cool and as I pan up, yeah, there's a lot of kind of toadstools uh, types of things. And I do actually have these from last year, but in the pinky colorway. So it's nice to see. Well, that's a fun escalator. I feel like that was like that last year. Am I imagining it? Um, but yes, they have got some bits I recognize from last year, but in new colors. Oh, that comes in that color too. That's probably my fave so far. These are a really, really great way to kind of, yeah, add some texture and a bold bit of color into your tree. I'm falling, just like the snow. that little bit of music i'm sure i just added some in but this is a color combo i've not seen really before i'm uh, not really sure but i do like these little penguins with a little bit of glitter on top of them and the owls as well very bold aren't they oh look at this one oh wow that fabric that's lovely they've got some real quirky ones in here maybe they've been a bit inspired by the craziness of liberty oh look at that one that's so sweet oh my gosh that would smash oh god now i've not seen a star like this before look at that oh my god it's glitter everywhere my hands are covered oh <laughs> reminds me of those things you know on the side of the door going boing do you know what i'm on about is that nsync playing okay i'm gonna have to talk over it or add a bit of music but we have got santa's rainbow workshop oh my gosh they really have gone wild in here a little bit more crazy than i thought they'd be actually um oh this is the one i saw look at this that's amazing. Got loads of different toys, your Rubik's Cube. That's fun. I think you would have to have not, I don't know. I'm not sure I could have too many of these in my life. They are a little bit too, um, I don't know, everyone's different. I don't think I'd want too many quirky ones. I just don't need a gold rollerblade in my life. I don't know, maybe you do, <laughs> but maybe I'm the type who just wants felted little animals. Um, yeah. <laughs> have such a great selection let me just quickly show you of uh tree lights um i did uh, i did buy some a couple of years ago but then ended up swapping them but i love the let me scoot over these kind of like cluster lights like that you end up having to buy a lot and they're quite expensive um number 14 i love how they do that so yeah was that that one yeah they're 55 and 45 pounds for 
yeah and you need loads i love christmas but i don't love it that much <laughs> i don't want to spend like 300 quid just for lights um what else have we got someone did comment to me a while ago because they wanted to see what bits and bobs we have for the outside now um i'm guessing they were in america we don't have you know full-on like blown up snowmen i'm sure we do in some places a bit sparse maybe they haven't put them all out yet um but yeah we just have like little things they're quite cute aren't they now i love looking at all different types of packaging gift wrap and i must say this one here caught my eye yeah i'm really loving this orange look at that that's beautiful um oh, i kind of wish that it had that color there oh why am i so fussy beautiful though yeah this like deep deep um rich blue it's interesting i think i've never associated it with christmas and these things which i'm not a fan of gonk they're gonks, right? Oh my gosh, I feel like everyone told me what they were and I've forgotten already, sorry. Um, but yeah, the, the, the pinky blue, hmm, definitely a lot more sparkle on things this year. So I kind of hope that stays. But again, these boxes are gorgeous. I got one of these for my colour theme, um, maybe, what was that, two years ago, but that is so nice. But yes, they have all of these online if you can get them. Oh, flip a neck, I've missed one, nightlife. <laughs> That's really my favorite one not gonna lie um but yeah again with the craziness my gosh maybe i'm just not down with the times when it comes to decorations hold on a minute this one is massive and beautiful wow six pounds with the tree being gold i don't know i'm not sure how i feel about the actual tree being gold i think it looks a bit rubbish but they've done a great job look at that <laughs> And if you are inspired one, they have these cards, which they have every year. I do wish they had a few more products on them or if there was, oh, there is a QR code. I don't remember that last year, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but yeah, it's quite a good, a good way to be inspired. I think it would be good if they added a few more pictures so that you could have a look, but still nice little freebie. I feel like this combo um, would be a great Christmas. Champagne, driving with a tree, cocktail music. <laughs> <laughs> and although there wasn't a tree earlier, there is always a very British moment. Um, they have a lot more than they did last year. I feel like the tree's bigger as well. So if you are, maybe you're just really into London or you're a tourist, they always have, um, yeah, some little bits and we'll see probably some things like this in other stores as well. That just kind of happens. Um, a little, I can't imagine too many people buying the policeman. But yeah, really cute and little skylines. Um, very similar, I guess, like Harrods and... Um, Places like that or things like this. Honestly, how big are people's trees? Look at the size of that. That is a whopper. How much is it? Oh God. Um, what? Okay, 60 pounds. We're just gonna put it there and let's hope we don't smash it. Like, oh what is the limit on how much you spend on a Christmas decoration to put on a tree? I mean, it's all relative to what you wanna spend, but 60 pounds is a bit much. I don't know. It's beautiful, but no. I like that they have set up these little kind of fairs almost. Oh my gosh, Winter Wonderland, stick around for that. Um, this is my color theme that I have. I love it. Those baubles are far too big for my tree. Um, but they have got, yes, for each of the themes, a little store. So they're kind of filling this area. I'm sure if you come back, this may be replaced with little gifts. Uh, they usually have gift food and things like that. So maybe I'm filming this a little bit early. I do really like these little ones. I think that's a great thing to get. And to all those people screaming, you have to buy a real tree. They do have obviously a massive, selection of trees at john lewis um they got a pretty big bit here um i am at the oxford street store so the tree forest um i mean how much is a tree these days i don't know but they looks like they've got more where well, they've come in the, um like the little basket those are quite nice i'm sure actual christmas tree trends don't change that much year on year but there's always one that's a full-on snow one pre-lit and all that jazz i do like the ones when they come with the little pine um but yeah where'd you get yours tree from i do not i'm really sorry i do not like that color Oh, it comes in a smaller size as well. Well, I'd like to know how many units of that they sell. Oh gosh, and that thing. Oh, don't know about that. Just my preference, guys. Look at this little outdoor hut thing, my Bob. I don't know what you call it. They've got set up. Hi, guys. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, just need a little desk. And I could lock myself away. That's cute. Oh, we're gonna go up to the rooftop actually, which I think this is the first year that it's been open all year round. Oh gosh, don't quote me, but they have a little restaurant. I think I've vlogged it before. Um, you get a nice little view of Oxford Street as well, and it's free. I know some people will be watching this being like, we just went and it wasn't this quiet. So yes, um, oh no, escalator, I'm wrong way round. Flip neck, I'm always wrong way round in this shop. Um, yeah, so hopefully this has given you a pre-shop at least. It's quite overwhelming like going to a shop when you like no idea what's in it so i don't know maybe this has helped you um let me know like i say 
Which theme is your favorite? That sugar plum one is definitely mine, the pinky one. Yeah, they really integrated it into the home department. I'm really impressed by that. And this Kelly Clarkson song, which sadly I have to talk over because I get told by YouTube otherwise, is probably my f one of my favorite, favorite uh, Christmas songs. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? I always wanted one of these, but they're massive and I've got nowhere to store it, so I have like a fabric one instead. Maybe the bears are growing on me, maybe. But yeah, I kind of wish their nose, like there was a little bit of glitter going on. <laughs> so fussy, aren't I? Let's see if the roof is open. Oh, actually, I quite like the bears. <laughs> Come up to the fifth floor, the place to eat, but don't be deceived, it's a little bit hidden. Because a lot of people do miss it, unless you're going to the toilet. So we are going to, well, I'm gonna quickly show you Willows, and it looks like they got a club with Chase uh, Distillery on the roof. See what I mean? There is a lift, there is a lift as well, guys. And you get some fresh air <laughs> on the rooftop of John Lewis Oxford Street. This is rare. I know there is a restaurant on Selfridge's rooftop, but it's not really, it's more a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a lean-to on the roof. But yes, not everything is quite open yet in the day, but there is a bar over there and you can book, um, as you can see it says reserved. Some of these, they're not always um, Chase branded. I think they um, have different companies that come in and do collabs, but it's just a really, really nice setting. It's like AstroTurf, so it's not muddy or anything like that, but you can just chill, have a drink. And it's actually a really good idea if you've got kids as well, because you can get like coffees and stuff like that. Oh, I totally have vlogged here before, haven't I? Um, but yeah, there's a full-on restaurant, uh, which is quite good for like wraps. I think I had like a, a jerk chicken wrap or something. But yeah, so you can get wine. You can't really see over the edge, right next to the speaker, good times. You can kind of get a bit of a view-ish. Like I said, John Lewis aren't paying me to say this. I just think this is a real hidden gem. It's been here for years. There's usually um, some of these little hot things are like sponsors, it might be like a camera brand or something like that. And you can go and try a product. Um, but yeah, so if you want some fresh air, if Oxford Street's doing your head, in and you just want to like chill and it's not raining <laughs> maybe you got your coat with you um i would recommend and you can actually book some of the booth uh the little huts actually it looks like they're not doing branded things at the moment but look at that little peacock set up for lunch this is really cute isn't it so um maybe i shouldn't finish the vlog while i'm on an escalator and the handrail on the left is not at the same time as the, <laughs> the actual steps anyway um i hope you enjoyed this video and it got you in the christmas spirit i love john lewis it's absolutely brilliant they've probably got everything online honestly john lewis i feel like you should be sponsoring this vlog every year um but anyway do subscribe because there's going to be multiple vlogs a week in december if i could do them in time um give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and yes mall is coming every friday at six o'clock plus maybe two two other vlogs a week maybe 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 um but yeah i will see you next week and um i feel like i should say merry christmas <laughs>